Okay, let's play some magic. Got two decks here. I've got way too many decks. And with the Crisis 2020 going on, uh, I can't play with any of my friends. So, I'm going to play magic against myself. And you can watch along and enjoy this. Just see all the crazy decks and crazy games we come up with here. Um, so, first one in the green corner. We have the green monster deck. Just a basic green fatties deck. Uh, tossed in some morph. It's a manifest. So that there's some early drops. Two twos, colorless. But then we can flip them face up to kind of surprise the opponents. And in the blue green corner we have counter max deck. Uh, blue green control. But we're playing the counter spells that kind of siphon your mana. Like wish I had mana drain but we're playing like plasm capture so we're gonna hold up four mana we got creatures that can come into play and counter spells and we got big spells that counter what the other deck plays and then use that mana so hopefully we if we get lucky you can pull off like a 10 mana spell on turn five um so we're gonna roll off five is the bigger deck green monster's going first Seven. Check her out. Forest, land of where elf. Mouth of feeds. Another forest. There's a morph. Whisperwood elemental. Good card. We got three land hand. This is good. Drop a forest. Drop a land of elf. We're off to great start. Another deck. Seven cards. Plus one for the turn. See, we got Mystic Genesis, Counter a Spell, make an XX Ooze, Plasma Catcher, Counter a Spell, Steal a Mana, just what we want. We got some early play, some Mana Ramp, and Guile, which is kind of ridiculous. We can Counter Spells and then play them ourselves off of Guile. So that's kind of a top end card we hope to play into. I think to start, I'm just going to drop the Island and cast Reason. Scry 3. Look at these cards. I think we want to get that signet out. Slime hole. Slime molding. Another nice X spell payoff. I mean, steal all their mana. You can use it, even if it's colorless. I like that. But I think we already have lands in our hands. So we're going to draw into signet. And yeah, hopefully get that engineer out. We we get Guile out before you know it. Pass turn over to Green Monster. <laughs> there's a there's a Green Monster. <laughs> Imperiosaur can't cast him with Land or Elf though. Forest into play. I think we got two options. We can play the Hippo or we can put the Morph into play. Um, there's not really anything out that's gonna damage the Nantuku. So I think a mouth is the way to go. So we're going to put a hippo into play. What do we got? We have hippos. I think I got hippos in here. Rhinos. There he is. Hungry, hungry hippo in play. The other decks wishing he had the counter spell. Drawing a card for turn. There's two lands and a signet. Pass turn. Back to green monster. We have the war shaman. Manifesting cards. So you can see we've already got a lot of like morph manifest shenanigans going on. I think can't cast Imperious Sword because you can only use basic lands. So we're going to put the Nantuku down. As a trap. And then attack with both for four. Put him down to 16. Alright, so counter max. Three mana open. There's four. So we can drop the engineer and ramp. Or we can keep the plasm capture up. And then hopefully next turn cast... Guile, which I think we want to do because 
the engineer ramping into Gaia would basically be the same thing. I think either way we can cast Guile next turn. I guess I just play the definite ramp then. That way we're not waiting to see whether or not a spell gets cast. I'll hold up the counter spells for later. Back to green monster. Okay, there's the fourth lance. We can drop the Imperious Ore, but the Whisper Wood is so much better. I'm just gonna drop that. Whisper Wood Elemental. 4-4. Four, four. Beginning of your end step manifest the top card of your library. Sweet. Alright, so we're gonna roll with a 2-2 two, two, and a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, we want that ramp, so we're just gonna take 5. That puts counter max down to 11. Half dead already. Green Monster's doing its job. But here's blue. So that's blue, green, blue, green, blue, green. For Guile. All right, that's a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, I forgot the manifest trigger. We were supposed to have a manifest trigger, and that is a Vines of the Vastwood. Merp. Three monsters getting a lot of stuff in play here. A 2-2 two, two Death Touch Basilisk. See, it just looks like a monster. Is it a good card? Debatable. Is it a green monster? Of course it is. That's why it's in here. Um, so, definitely drop the Imperiosaur. He's a big butt. Now... We have four guys clear for attacks. I think I just roll him with everything because Kyle's not going anywhere and Green Monster just needs to finish the beat down. So we're rolling with all of these. Now, I could have held up my mana. I shouldn't have cast Imperiosaur before the attack. I realize that. But Kyle's going to block the Whisperwood Elemental. Um, so we'll just sacrifice it for its ability, which doesn't do anything. But, get through for 7 damage. Countermax is at 4 life. It's going to have to pull something out of its tushy to win this game. I know it could feel like a mismatch, but uh, both of these decks for 2-0, and oh, so... Off my stats, they're around the same, but still pretty early. I think I can put down a five. Uh, I put out six, six ooze. Or I could keep Guile, the Engineer, and another blocker up with the Horizon Chimera. I think I need more blockers at this point. So, pass. How about this? How about keep the engineer alive and for three mana we put a 2-2 two, two slime into play. And then pass off of that. Green monster. Whenever a permanent control is turned face up, if it's a creature, you may have it fight. I think, I think we just roll. Yep, we're just going to roll with all of these. So, Countermax is going to flash in the blocker. A Horizon Chimera. Um, Guile's going to take the Imperiosaur. Chimera's going to take the Hippo. And Slime Molding's going to block one of those. So, evens and odds. Uh, that's odd, so it's blocking here. That's actually good for Green Monster, because Green Monster can flip that up. For the Brute Hatch. So only two is getting through. The Hippo and the Chimera trade. Guile takes out the Imperiosaur. The Slime Mold survives. But we don't care, because now we have two insect tokens off the horizon off the brood hatch 
I'm not gonna spend all day looking for tokens. There's two insects. And then for three mana we can drop the death touch, which he'll have to block. Or he'll die because he's at two mana. I don't know. I don't know if getting the two one ones is worth I mean at this point hopefully you can just attack around. See we need something beside the land there. So uh counter max is just gonna have to hope that a green monster casts a spell. But I think Green Monster sees that he has it. There's a Den Protector. Let's turn face up, return a card from the graveyard to your hand. I mean, this is gonna really help. Ooh, we had mouth. We all oh, we had feed in there. I always forget about that. Draw a card for each creature with power three or greater. Yep, missed that one. Missed it! Hmm. That might have changed the game. I don't know. I think. Three blockers and five attackers. Just roll with everything, right? Let's block this. These two are blocking the elf and the morph. Two gets through, that's game. All right. Close game. I think uh, counter max was really close. However, who knows? If I had have realized that I could have drawn a couple cards off feed, I think Green Monster was only going to be more powerful. I think Green Monster deserved that win. Didn't get to counter any spells. It was kind of a bummer. Um, but kind of had to put some bodies down on the table. So, there we have it. Green Monster wins. It goes to 3-0. Counter Max is at 2-1. Thanks for watching.